Alrighty guys, welcome back to another walkthrough. My name's Taylor Quayle. Today we're looking at a 1999 Damon Challenger 330. It's about a 34 foot RV. It's on that Ford Super Duty chassis with the V10 Triton with the single slide. And I think she's just under 65,000 miles. Now what we're going to do, let me show you the exterior really quick then I'll put you guys on pause, open up all the compartments and we'll do the same thing on the interior. So kind of a, a base white coat with a green, maroon, and that's, yeah, I guess, light red kind of decal stripes. And you see the darker colors are starting to crack, which is to be expected. This coach is 22 years old. Tire size, 245, 70R, 19.5s. You got six total tires. Awning is manual. And you have manual window awnings that come out. Two on the other side, one on this here passenger side. And they're really cool if you're going to be parked somewhere for an extended amount of time. It could be a little bit of extra shade and a little bit more of a homey feel. Now this coach has been upgraded a little bit. You can see we got two solar panels up top. There is a satellite up there and full LED lights inside except for a couple side switches. So we'll be able to check all that out. But let me get all these compartments open so I can show you what's inside. Alrighty, starting on the passenger side here. All your compartments are manual latch, either with the little plastic latch right there or it has a metal latch that you just put in a little hole to keep that compartment up but with the exception of the rear compartments there they are on struts your first compartment you can see there is an inverter in there not a pass-through but you have a nice deep storage so that's kind of nice the inverter was an upgrade too you see that is a full pass-through right there minus all the oil filters Spare tire and propane tank, 31.3 gallons. Next one, you got a water tank and a little bit of storage down below. Another nice full pass through. And then additionally, one more. Insane on a storage for a 34 foot RV. I mean, usually you expect all those pass throughs in a diesel pusher, but in a gas coach, that's very nice to have. Now, before we mosey on over to the driver's side, I'm gonna show you the roof. So let's check it out. A lot windier up here, I'm sorry, but you can see your two panel satellite up top, max air covers on your two vents, and a double AC. Very nice. Now on the rear here, we do have a backup camera. And it's got its own monitor inside, and then a 5,000 pound hitch. And that looks like a seven pin connector. Pretty easily tow something down the road. Now on this side, you got latches for these two compartments, struts for that one. All those are manual open since they're under the slide. You can see 30 amp power service, so those two ACs have a shedding feature. Outdoor shower, dump station, fuel fill. And like I said, we got one more on in there, and then one more right there. Generator. Owning 5,000. Starts up like a dream. Good amount of storage. This coach does also have a driver door. Love it. Very, very cool. You can see your step there. Now finally, the last thing on the exterior here is gonna be your, your hood compartment, your engine bay. And this does have a latch, as you can see right there. Somewhat accessible. All right, let's jump inside. So we got one electric step exterior and then a few more jumping in right to our left we have a battery disconnect some light controls your solar regulator and then your uh, inverter controls all right and this walking in the first look got your booth hallway to the bedroom your slide with the kitchen in it and a couch and then of course the front cap pretty interesting location for the tv Let's see, if you can see that generator, let me sit down so you can see it. Less than 200 hours on it. Very, very nice. Light controls, you can see 60, just about 65,000 miles. And I forgot the keys, that's your backup camera. Separately from your regular TV. Upgraded tape deck, CD deck, whatever you wanna call it. Still got the uh, <laughs> cigarette lighter. And then of course your uh, dash AC. These front seats do turn and we do have a little bit of storage above. 
nothing too crazy just a few small ones like that all right now behind us got a little barrel chair here you could take that out if you want but it is kind of nice to have right above that some more storage all right now let's check out the slide the slide goes from that area all the way down to this kind of area right here this is a sleeper looks like a jackknife you just lift this up and pull it out and sleep on the cushions do have a uh, oven in here and that looks like looks to be a 21 inch and then of course your three burner gas stove top it does have a hood which is kind of cool and then your dual bay sink only has one cover and then a little baby microwave now let me put you guys on pause open up all these compartments so you can see all right starting out front we got two overhead compartments above the couch decent size a little bit bigger above the hood you can see some paperwork in there a little area under the stove for pots and pans i love it i love an rv with an area for a uh, trash can and then three drawers they all come out the same distance i just like tearing them and i don't know why i forgot to open this but there you go a little spice rack extra storage there it goes a little bit deeper in all right so that's the uh, driver's side now on the passenger slide slide on the passenger side we have your booth dinette a little bit of storage down below a little bit of storage above this will also act as a sleeper here's a couple quick printouts i took if you want to pause this read some of the specification you can see our price 23 grand 22 9.95 oh and there is the actual floor plan and i tried to highlight it is it a ford not a chevy and then here you can see that second column there 330 all your standard features and options. I didn't see too many options in here. It's a lot of twin beds, upgraded mattress, nothing too serious or structurally. Now, we're not gonna get too crazy. I don't have to put you on pause to show you these storages here. So you got those two there, and you got this one down below. You can see your seatbelts there too. All right, now the only other thing in the main galley area is really gonna be your fridge. It is a Norcold two-door fridge electric or propane oh and you can see your ac control just to the left of that now moving on down we have your hall closet and then on the right we have your all-in-one bathroom so before we check out the closet i want to open it up for you look at all the cabinets it may take a second be right with you it looks a little crazy i didn't have to open up all of them you can see we have literally nine drawers all that nice same depth goes back a little bit further and then you got three of these wardrobe kind of areas now there's a little bit of stuff in here now just bank covers extra cushions for the uh dinette you can see your hanger up there then moving on down two more drawers a nice little pop-out storage there and then under that is not a storage it's actually just an access point looks like for your water heater all right let me get this shut down and we'll check out the bathroom so right across from these here six drawers, you have a door, and this is your all-in-one bathroom. Now, it's carpeted. I know, that's a little weird. It's what they did in older style RVs, but flooring can easily be replaced. But really, for an all-in-one, it's not a bad size by any means. Now, looks like plastic toilet. Got a little sink in here, a little bit of storage down below bigger storage behind the uh, toilet, a couple medicine cabinets, and that. Huh. <laughs> so they did upgrade all the lights with LEDs, except for around the bed. So that's maybe a, has a different cover on it. Believe it or not, that is a bathtub for somebody small. Now that looks like a probably be 18 inch by about three feet, I'd say. Now you do have the overhead light. Um, you, it's not hard to fit in here. I'm 5'9", 200 pounds. I fit just fine, but it will be, if you're a bigger guy, a bigger girl, it might be a little hard to wash them ankles. All right, the last but not least, we have your bedroom. Now the bedroom does have a pocket door right here. And then it is a queen bed. So we got a little bit of storage around too. And some storage under the bed. Very cool. And then finally, a couple little side wardrobes, side table. I love these drawers. These are usually pretty deep. Yeah. 
and then same concept on the right side literally the same drawer a little bit wider and the same wardrobe just a little bit wider very similar storages above other than that in the back there's nothing else nothing on these walls you do have this right here which you could put a tv newer tvs really won't fit there of course because they're not squares anymore now point out the ac unit there ac unit there and being a 30 amp power service it's going to put power to whatever ac needs it the most wherever it's the hotter temperature so it'll switch back and forth but it is kind of nice it has the upgraded gin if you are running the gin you should be able to run those ac units so that's a quick walk through 1999 damon challenger it's a 330 uh, model number now last thing i want to do is i want to put this slide in and at least show you how it looks with the slide it is kind of pretty easy to tell where it comes in on the carpet but i'll give you a good look when you're in the back and the slide is in you can slightly see the couch up there but really you don't lose any access i mean this extends a little bit right here so you have a, a little bit of a smaller walkway through but you can get to the bathroom the bed anything you need to the fridge for a beer whatever so very very accessible even when that slide is in so once again 1999 damon challenger we're selling for 22.995 my name's taylor quail if you have any questions please don't hesitate to give us a call our phone number is 520-807-0900 or you can email me at taylor at padata rv center.com Padata spelled P as in Paul, E as in Edward, and Data, D-A-T-A, -A, rvcenter.com. Thanks for viewing, guys. Hope you all have a great day.